like to take this opportunity to congratulate the students in their induction this evening into the different honor societies. This is a concrete way to demonstrate your scholarship, leadership, service, and character. This is also a time for both you and your family to celebrate your success and your hard work this evening, so congratulations. The second part of this evening's program is our ring ceremony. The Notre Dame ring is an important symbol. It is a sign of your commitment to Notre Dame High School as a student as well as as an upperclassman. The school ring for you that you will receive tonight has the coat of arms for Notre Dame High School with symbols of the Congregation of Holy Cross, the Archdiocese of Hartford, and Our Lady Notre Dame. These symbols serve as a challenge. Devote yourself to Our Lady through study and achieving wisdom. My prayer for you tonight is that you wear this ring as, with pride as Notre Dame men. At this time, I'd like to introduce the president of Notre Dame High School, Brother James Brannigan, who will bless the rings at this time. We uh, begin our blessing with a reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. And I pray that he will bestow on you gifts in keeping with the riches of his glory. May he strengthen you inwardly through the working of his spirit. May Christ dwell in your hearts through faith. And may charity be the root and foundation of your life. Thus, you will be able to grasp fully with all the holy ones, the breadth and length and height and depth of Christ's love, and experience this love, which surpasses all knowledge, so that you may attain the fullness of God himself. The blessing of, uh, of these rings brings an occasion for us to give thanks to God for the gift of our Notre Dame community. Our community has given all of us great opportunity. We especially praise God for the wonder of our human intellect that continues to be nourished and expanded. With God's kindness in gifting us with our community those responsibilities, we are challenged by our Notre Dame education to respect all people and to actively seek the well-being of others. Our ring gathers up in a single symbol all the values and importance of the mission of our Notre Dame and its men, you gentlemen. So let us pray for God's blessing to come upon these rings. Lord, you are the eternal one and the source of every blessing. Be with us now as we bless these rings in your name. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, may they be powerful symbol of the love you have shared with us here at Notre Dame High School. And may the members of the class of 2014 continue to be transformed into the likeness of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Following juniors will be receiving your class rings at this time. Please hold your applause until everyone has received their ring. Kent Hearn. Alexander Ailes. John Amendola. Nicholas Amodio. Joshua Amora. Matthew Anania. <coughs> 
Joseph Antonetti. Joshua Aquino. Drew Archiolo. Nicholas Arpino. Thomas Ashton. Ryan Audie. Eric Austin. Peter Belt. John Bernardo. Nicholas Bilchek. Lonnie Blackwell. Saxon Benita. Brian Batone. Aaron Brown Ortiz. The Hate Burgess Jr. Aiden Burton. Robert Cantafia. Cameron Caparuso. Patrick Karkova. Dylan Carano. Steven Castiglione. Justin Childs. Christopher Co-Francesca. Justin Cullen. Cody Di Leonardo. Frank Dow. Taj Edie. Joshua Amy. Salvatore Esposito. Michael Ferricelli. Maxwell Fillion. William Fisher. Iniello Farina. Marcello Grandquist. Jake Grasso the third. Alexander Hassan. Brendan Hemmings. <coughs> Anthony Iavine. Logan Junowick. Robert Keith. Roger King Jr. Frank Landolfi. Bo 
Bohan Lee. Andrew Mater. Dylan Matura. Michael Mazzola. Chris Minori. William Corey Moore. David Naprakowski. James Nugent. Graham O'Brien. Anthony Olenski. Ryan Paglia. Antonio Pagliaro. <coughs> Joseph Palmieri. Keenan Pilon. Alexander Priori. <coughs> Edward Provitz. Alexander Puzon. Miguel Ramirez. Blake Rice. Eric Rustano. Hey Ron Simmons. Nicholas Smellen. Ian Spack. Andrew Stopko. Ryan Sullivan. McLaren Tobin. Cameron Tucker. Camilla Venegas. Ryan Varillo. And Adamus Wright. Brother James will now offer words of congratulation. My uh, my apologies to you for uh, from my back up here at the stage. Uh, it's the first time doing something like this, and uh, I'm standing there saying to myself, uh, "Well, I can't see too much." And then also, I my legs were so tight because I was afraid I was going to fall off the edge. Not my age. Who's in balance? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's see, I got about 20 pages <laughs> in my glasses. You know, a few, a few days ago, we, uh, we celebrated uh, Martin Luther King and uh, all that he uh, did for our nation. It just so happened it was uh, Inauguration Day, and Martin got to kind of pushed aside a little bit. You know, one of, uh, one of Martin's models for life was uh, Mahatma Gandhi. And I begin with a, a quote from Gandhi. If we are to reach real peace in the world, we shall have to begin with children. 
and if they will grow up in their innocence, we won't have to struggle. We won't have to pass fruitless ideal resolutions. But we shall go, for, go from love to love and peace to peace until at last all corners of the world are covered with that peace and love for which, consciously or unconsciously, the whole world is hungering. You know, one might suggest uh, that these days we are more than hungering for uh, this peace and love. I would say we are starving. You know, it would appear that, uh, that natural innocence doesn't have a chance. You know, one might think that Gandhi was a, uh, or is, a uh, clueless idealist whose words, when faced with the reality of human condition, fall into an abyss of silence. They never were, are, or will be enfleshed in how people are with one another. You know, natural innocence, come on, Gandhi, get real. Now, I'm trying my best to uh, walk away from my cynicism can at uh, times be a tough path to take. However, I know that the path away from is the one to be on. Love to love, peace to peace. You know, Gandhi led his nation in a peaceful revolution for independence. And there is no greater individual in the history of the Indian nation. Now think about it. Taking out the uh, British Empire without firing a shot. You know, with this coming month of February celebrating black history, one can't overlook uh, many famed people involved in the great civil rights movement. And one that uh, comes to my mind always is uh, Rosa Parks. One among many. We peacefully led our nation on the road to, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Rosa, quietly remaining in her seat on that bus, neither raising her voice nor her fist, and dragged off to jail, a smile on her face. Mother Teresa quoted saying, if we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten we belong to each other. She and her ways are recognized by so many in our world as the way. Not surprising that Teresa is on the road or the fast track to uh, to Sanford. You know, my path from cynicism can lead me down a path to very real people, the people I've just been speaking about, who in flesh natural innocence, love to love, peace to peace. Now you might, might be surprised by, uh, by how many people among us maintain their, uh, their natural innocence, given the onslaught of, uh, of so many who live and act in the world of the cynic and create uh, more havoc, hurt, and loss. Now, Notre Dame High School is home to well over uh, well, yeah, well over 600 children. Those who, given what I just said, are still living in the world of their natural innocence. They can still think and act naturally, love to love, peace to peace. Now sadly, you know, one can see in some fading innocence. Yet, in all, as in all of us, there is that hungering for that peace in love. You know, don't we all hunger? Peace and love, you know, parents, don't you wish? Family, don't you wish? Faculty, staff, administrators, don't you, don't we wish? Gentlemen, peace to peace, love to love. What do you think? Sounds good to me. <laughs> You know, uh, it is, you got to think about this, it is our choosing. It's all in the choices we make. Do we, uh, do we make war on war, or worse, on peace? 
in our lives, as well as generally? Do we confront dislike with dislike? Hate with hate? Gentlemen, I congratulate you for all you have accomplished with your minds. It's tremendous, really. Uh, these honor societies, for some of you, uh, they're great, really. You know, when I think of all the challenges in your lives, all the challenges, as well, gentlemen, and I know it's not easy, you know, I congratulate you for what you accomplish with your hearts, your peaceful, loving ways in this community and outside of it. And I mean it. You know, a natural innocence. Keep it alive. I plead with you. And as you, uh, as you continue to work on your minds, you know, I hope you will, don't, don't give up on your heart. Don't. You know, we crazed adults who have lost so much of our innocence, we need you. The world needs you. The world needs to see you from the most powerful nation in human history, not just with weapons in their hands, but peace to peace, love to love. Gandhi, Rosa, Teresa, they tell us the way. And by the way, uh, are you a believer? <laughs> uh, if you say so, then you'll take uh, Jesus' word on it as well. And you might call it God's word. The realities of life, and for sure, Gandhi, Rosa, Teresa, and Jesus would remind us, remind me, peace to peace, love to love, is not an easy path. You may actually, on that path, appear to some to be a loser. They would say, uh, hold on, you know, Rosa, Teresa, they'd say, hold on, courage, be courageous. For us who have lost so much courage, please be courageous. You are our last great hope. Gentlemen, with that ring in hand, let it be a reminder of your commitment that we are brothers together for Christian life, simply said. Did I say Christian? Innocent? Innocent life? Simply said. Thank you. And again, congratulations. Thank you. And have a At this time, I'd like to introduce the junior class, one of the junior class officers, Anthony Olinsky, who will lead us in our final prayer. We join our hearts now in prayer. God of all times and seasons, we end this night with thanks for all you have done for us. Especially, we give you praise for the many struggles you have helped us overcome and for the endless gifts you have showered upon us. We bless you for those who love us and for blessing us with the opportunity to be a part of the Nordian family. Continue to form us into people who are compassionate reflections of your love for all people. We pray this in the name of Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Before we end this evening, I'd like to thank certainly Mr. Mastriano, Mr. Carraro, and Mr. Roach, who serve as moderators of the Honor Society. Uh, Mrs. Henninger, who is the moderator of the junior class and spent a great deal of time certainly organizing those trays that were so uh, delicately balanced up here. Uh, Mrs. Borello, Mrs. Uh, Piscatelli for helping organize the event. Mr. Roach and members of the ensemble for playing the music this evening as well as Mrs. LaMonica and members of the Parents Association who are organizing or have organized a reception in the cafeteria immediately following this evening's program. And the last, certainly not least, Mr. Ramirez, who is the assistant principal for the class of 2014, who organized the entire event for this evening. So I'd like to thank them and recognize them.
Following this evening's program, there will be refreshments served in the cafeteria by our parents association. And as the students, as we begin the music and the students process from the auditorium, I'd ask you to please remain in your seats until all the students and faculty have left the auditorium and they will meet you in the, uh, in the cafeteria which is right down the hallway on the same level. Thank you very much.